Dale with Armory Detailing again for another tech tip of the week. So today we've got this beautiful car right here, a 2009 Mitsubishi Eclipse GTB. Right here we've got a cart full of various things. We've got some paint and uh, we've got a syringe, we've got an airbrush, we've got an air gun, and that's because we're doing a paint touch up to this car. Unfortunately, before it got PPF, it uh, took a rock. We're gonna show you some ways that we can, I guess, repair this. Uh, there's also a little stone chip on the front, so we may as well do that all at once. Um, so, although we have all this nice assortment of stuff here, I think today's, uh, for today's little tech tip, I think we're gonna use the needle because I think that'll, that'll fill it nicely. So here we've got a syringe and a stir stick and some paint. So it's a fairly large syringe, and that's because we want um, a big enough opening so that if there's any little metallic flakes and stuff like that, that it can get through. And then we want to use this very sharp edge to like help work the paint in. So you're going to see right away. So I'm just going to take the stopper out of the back of it, and then we're going to put some paint in it. Make sure the paint is nicely stirred up. Usually it probably won't be in such a large container as this. but why it likes to go big. Why it's the cameraman. So once you've got the paint in there, you're gonna hold it upside down so that all the paint rushes to the bottom. You can see the, the tip of the needle is like bubbling a little bit. So we're just taking all of the air out of the needle. We're gonna be gentle with it because we don't wanna squirt it all over the place. So now we're, we've expressed all the air out. Should be no air bubbles in this little cylinder down here. And then we've got a cloth we're just going to use to take the excess off. So now we're ready to do a little bit of a touch up. What I find works best is if this little opening is held to the side as you kind of gently push it out. And you can see that we're kind of filling that entire chip. And this paint is a little bit runnier than most. Now we're just working it into the edge of the chip. So this is something that you can't do with a mark, uh, paint pen or brush because you won't, you won't be able to get it right into the edge. Ideally, we'd like to fill this chip a little bit over the top. We want it to be bubbling just a little bit over. So as the solvents in the paint or the water, if it's water-based, evaporate out, it's gonna shrink a little bit. But we do want it to be a little bit proud so that when we're done, uh, we can go afterwards and finish the touch-up. Something that I feel a lot of people kind of don't realize is that you're not done after you've just put the paint in. Both of those little rock chips are filled and a little bit overfilled. We'll go over here to this small little chip. So this is something that you'd never be able to get with a, with a brush, it just is too small. So I can see that the paint is lifting there a little bit. So I've just taken it off. So we just want it to the point where there's nothing, nothing left that air can get under and ruin our nice finish. And there we have it. It's just perfectly overfilled. So we'll come back later after it's dried and we'll use a razor blade, scrape that surface back a little bit and then polish it up and it should look well, as good as as good as new can can get when you're repairing paint.